at your house, do you say, you left that cup in a bad spot? Or do you say, oh my gosh, sorry, I almost knocked over that cup. I wanna talk about taking responsibility when you're blind. Come watch this video and we'll chat. Hi, this is Corey from Blind to Billionaire, and today I have an unpopular topic that I'd like to discuss with you all. And it just came to me tonight when Matt and I were doing dishes. So I made dinner like we do, and we were doing dishes together, and I had a Pyrex glass measuring cup sitting kind of, um, so he was the dryer and I was the washer. So I set the Pyrex near, like on the drying sheet that he was using, and then he was went to grab it and it was kind of near the edge like kind of near the end of the counter and he said oh my gosh like you put that in a really bad spot i almost knocked it over there would have been glass all over the floor and i thought okay yeah i get i totally get where you're coming from like i should have set it at the back of the like near the backsplash versus near the near the floor but a little part of me thought it's sort of like is it always my responsibility? Like, is it always the fault of the sighted person if a blind person knocks something over or like spills something or like didn't see something coming? And I guess I'm just curious and I'm not like knocking Matt, which it totally sounds like I am because I guess I kind of am, but I'm, um, I'm just more curious like how that goes for everyone else because I know it's really easy when you're frustrated to kind of take it out like kind of take it out on somebody else and be like, oh, who left these shoes here or whatnot um, versus just being like, oh gosh, like I didn't see those shoes and I almost tripped or like, oh, I accidentally like knocked over a cup of water or something like that. I mean, it's super frustrating, but I guess I'm curious if you guys always look to kind of find like who did it versus being like, oh shoot, I knocked something over. So my video short probably gonna get some hate because I get that it's like not a blind person's fault for knocking something over and that it's totally an accident but I think that it's equally an accident if a sighted person accidentally doesn't push their chair in an extra centimeter like that they thought was fully pushed in but it wasn't or that they accidentally could have put a glass in a little bit better spot than they did or their shoes aren't pushed all the way to the wall, but rather they're pushed a tiny bit out from the wall. So I'm just curious how you guys handle this. Um, I feel like kind of opening a bag of worms here, um, or can of worms, <laughs> can, bag, who cares? Yuck, worms. Um, but I'm just curious what you guys think. Um, so my question is, how do you deal with when like an accident happens? Do you feel like you quick like blame the sighted guy in the in your life or do you feel like oh shoot like I was the one who like made this mistake and sometimes it probably is just you and sometimes it's like a hundred percent the sighted person so curious how this goes um not sure if I should put this up but I'm going to anyways and uh totally appreciate you all being here I love conversation we love hearing from you and um, I just wanted to say have a nice night and thank you for all of your input. If you have any questions, like write them below, subscribe, like, comment, all that great stuff. Thank you, bye-bye. You can't wait to see me now, cause lately you've been feeling down.